Cambridge has always been known as the leader in fee-based programs. As far back as 15 years ago, we were doing 30 or 40 percent of our business in fees when the industry average was only one or two percent. We're very custom built oriented, that is, we'd like to say that we have 500 different roads to the destination for each of our 500 different offices versus many of our large competitors build a great super highway, but it's one super highway and you have to be on their highway. Our goal is that you control the journey, we build the road that suits you. I'd have to say there are probably two specific items that give us a competitive advantage and separate us from our competitive. One would be the nature of the personal relationships that we build with our registered representative over the years and the fact that having come out of the field and having built a financial services business just like our reps, they know they can pick up the phone and call me and or one of my other uh, senior executive members to discuss with them the types of things that they're going through as well as what we're going through on a daily basis. We absolutely guarantee the continuity of our company in the world we live in, especially over this last two years. It's interesting that that type of financial security which enables us to move forward on a continuity basis makes all the difference in the world in terms of a competitive advantage. There's a number of things that uh, set us apart. Uh, I think we have a terrifically uh, experienced uh, staff in our home office that uh, consi consistently delivers a very high level of service to our advisors. Uh, we have a technology platform that has been developed over probably 10 years or so that really fully integrates all the things that an advisor needs to do their day-to-day -day, uh, business with their clients makes it easy for them to do business with us, which I think has been developed by uh, feedback from our advisors over the years. What really differentiates us as a firm is the principles of the firm started out as advisors of the firm. Uh, I started the first independent office in 1989, and so I got to actually experience what it's like to be an independent advisor for a number of years. We're the smallest uh, in the group, and it's by design. We want to be a boutique firm. Um, this is, we put a high premium on trusted relationships, very selective on who we want to do business with. We don't see a need to get too large because I think at the end of the day, scale comes at a cost of relationship. I think the biggest thing that keeps me up at night is the same thing that's been keeping me up at night for the last five or ten years, and that's always the regulatory front. It seems like the uh, pile higher and deeper theory of, of regulation has applied ever since the stock market started going down in 2002. On the other hand, I'm very optimistic because we've had lots of regulatory changes and burden in the past, and they bring more on. Everybody in the industry has to deal with it, and therefore we think we can compete. It's just a you know, it's a challenge that it'd be nice if they could get uh, a little more prudence on that part of things. I'd have to say that the increased possibility of litigation across the board is what truly concerns and, and keeps me up at night. Anybody can go out and get an attorney based upon the regulatory environment we're dealing with where it's a heads I win, tails you lose scenario. And that's, that's very difficult to deal with. When does an investment uh, become inappropriate? If you sell the number two rated broker dealer or the number two rated mutual fund in the country, have you then violated your fiduciary responsibility by not having sold the, the highest rated? I'm always worried about that rogue rep that might be out there, but uh, uh, you know, the independent contractor status has been an issue that's worried me a lot the last 12 months. Um, obviously, this, uh, this new uh, regulatory reform bill has been on everybody's minds, and uh, now that I've seen it, I'm not as concerned about that. It looks like it's a lot of things we're already doing as a firm, so uh, if it uh, can help prevent some of the financial tragedies that have happened in the last 12 months or so, then uh, I think that that new bill will be a, a great positive for the industry. Obviously, this new regulation is, there's a lot of uncertainty about how that's going to impact us as an industry. The financial worlds are more complex, they're more volatile, and that opportunity means there's a need for more advice, more independent, unbiased advice. And that's the space that we fill. 
Uh, I think what keeps me up at night is making sure I stay ahead of the curve, looking around the corner, and give all the tools that our advisors need so they can stay competitive.